Lincoln scholar Harold Halzer has written Lincoln, President-Elect. Almost a century and a half ago, Abraham Lincoln had been elected to an office debased by its incumbent. The general crisis Lincoln faced was in many ways even more dire than that facing Barack Obama, but revolving around the same ongoing challenges to American democracy. Will leaders obey our laws? Can people govern themselves? Questions of democracy and its predicate, justice. The two most difficult transitions were Buchanan to Lincoln and Hoover to Roosevelt. Not only because they were different parties, but because they were real crises brewing that seemed to cry out for instant attention. Now, I think between November 08 and January 09, we may be in a similar situation with between the Dow and the credit crunch and all of the and mounting unemployment. The difference is, I think the major difference for us will be that the transition is only six weeks. It's not four months. I think that's a ma that's an important difference, and it's better. It's a real improvement. Thank it, you, Mr. It, Roosevelt, it again. And it was only 1937 that that change came yeah, with Roosevelt. Yeah, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. It helps, but the, the downside of that is, yes, they had telegraphs, but the velocity arguably is different today than it was then. And we may have lost the margin <laughs> we gained yeah. by changing the rules. Yeah, it may be, it may be all equal, right? Uh, well, Although the, Lincoln the, thought that the, that the volume and the velocity was, was huge in 1860 the constant bombardment of reports. He even made the mistake of reacting to President Buchanan's message, his, his final message, based on a faulty and incomplete report over the telegraph wires. And at one point privately confided that Buchanan should be hanged if he gives up federal property in the South. And you know, he never made that mistake again. He didn't hastily judge Buchanan, he didn't prejudge Buchanan, and he kept his anger to himself. And when he got to Washington, I'm sure Seward didn't drag him to the White House. He went with Seward to the White House, knocked on the door, didn't call up first because there were no phones, and they said, Abraham Lincoln is here. Buchanan was up in a cabinet meeting. They took him upstairs. He got to watch a cabinet meeting. How else would he know how to run a cabinet meeting? A few days later, Buchanan called on Lincoln at the Willard, which was a real show of continuity and mutual respect. I think that was important for the country at that time much overlooked. So there's another bullet point lesson. Be respectful of your predecessor. If you think he's done a terrible job, it's almost over. Be respectful of the office that you're going to occupy. And I think that was a, another lesson Lincoln taught us.